Minister Tax, my sister, Sir Gomena. Warmly welcome to Jakarta, and it is an honor for me to receive your first official visit to Indonesia. Tanzania is the second largest trading partner for Indonesia in East Africa. The decision of Tanzania to open embassy in Jakarta is a clear reflection of commitment to further strengthen our relation. And today, the embassy of Tanzania in Jakarta will be officially inaugurated. Inshallah, I will also attend the inauguration myself. And the, the opening of your embassy will also strengthen the bond between Indonesia and the African countries. Colleagues from the media, in our meetings today, Minister Tax and I discuss a number of bilateral issues. First, trade cooperation. We are both pleased to note positive trend in our trade relation, increasing by 50% from 2019 to 2022, reaching over US dollar 340 million. And built on this momentum, Indonesia intends to export some other goods such as rubber tire, fertilizer, foods, and beverages. We also agreed to explore the possibility of establishing a bilateral preferential trade agreement. Second, investment cooperation. We discussed ways to increase Indonesia outbound investment in, in, in Tanzania. PT Indeso Arema, for instance, plan to expand its field distillation unit in Zanzibar and in mainland such as Tanga area. Our state-owned company, Pertamina, also seek to expand its presence and acquire majority shares in Manazi Bay Block Operation through its subsidiaries, Maurel and Prom. I appreciate Tanzania's support for Indonesia outbound investment. I'm confident this would also contribute positively to our economy. Third, health cooperation. The pandemic taught us the importance of a strong health infrastructure. We both committed to bolstering health cooperation to strengthen our health resilience. Indonesia pharmaceutical company, Dexa Medica, has received good manufacturing practices from Tanzania and will begin supplying their product to Tanzania. Fourth, on development cooperation. In the last five years, we have implemented a wide range of development cooperation programs. They include capacity building and trainings on food security, trade, investment, and education. For this year and next year, we will continue to provide with similar programs in the field of agriculture, mining, and energy. In the long run, we seek to level up our cooperation, including by developing a country-specific cooperation plan on development cooperation. And aside from these four issues, we also discussed the preparation for the President Joko Widodo visit to Tanzania later this year and the possible visit of the Prime Minister of Tanzania to Indonesia. And it is our hope that the visit would result in concrete and meaningful cooperation that benefits our people. Colleagues from the media, Minister Tax and I also exchange views on important regional and global issues. Indonesia and Tanzania share concern about the increasingly polarized world and the impact of geopolitical rivalries on developing countries. We both agree the voices of the global south must be heard. Both of us are committed to working together to rekindle the Bandung spirit in addressing the global challenges. And finally, we also discuss the issue of women, peace, and security, including Indonesia's effort to promote 
female participation in the peace uh, keepers, the UN peace uh, keepers, and to promote education for Afghan women. Colleagues, we both agreed investing in women is key to a better future. So Minister Tax, my sister, once again, thank you for your visit. And now I invite you to share your views. Thank you. Uh, thank you, my sister, Minister of uh, Indonesia for Foreign Affairs. Let me begin by expressing my gratitude uh, to the government uh, of uh, this uh, friendly country and the people for welcoming us and uh, for ho the hospitality. Tanzania and Indonesia relations have deep and historic roots laid down by the founding fathers of our two nations, Mwalim Julius Kambarage Nyerere and uh, President Sekano. And uh, this is uh, premised on the Bandunga spirit. Indonesia has been an ally and a key partner to Tanzania over the years and is one of the earliest uh, countries that opened a full-fledged embassy in Tanzania after our independence. And uh, since then, we have remained uh, partners since uh, even before you established uh, the embassy, since uh, the Bandung Declaration in 1955. And our, de our desire now as we move forward is uh, to solidify our political partnership while we cement our economic partnership. Uh, my sister, Excellency Minister Latino Masood, I and her, we had a, a very productive and excellent meeting just a few minutes ago, as, she's in, as she has indicated. And we have agreed to continue working closely to deepen and strengthen the existing bond of friendship and cooperation politically, socially, and economically for the benefit of our countries and our peoples. During our meeting, we both noted that uh, despite uh, the strong diplomatic ties and uh, the milestones uh, realized, more can be done to unleash and uh, utilize uh, vulnerable opportunities in social and economic uh, sectors, including boosting trade and investment, and uh, bringing on board, on board both a public, public and a private-private uh, partnership. Uh, or bringing on board public and private sectors through public-public and public-private uh, partnership. And uh, hence, the need to have a bilateral trade agreement or cooperation, which will start working on it. But if you talk about uh, cooperating in terms of uh, the different sectors, politically, socially, economically, we thought also we should have a plan a country program which will start working on and uh, to have a systematic way of uh, cooperating for the benefit of our countries but also for the benefit of our peoples. And among other things, we have agreed to enhance our cooperation in the manufacturing, agriculture, energy, mining, oil and gas, pharmaceutical, fisheries, tourism, and hospitality industry knowledge sharing programs and technology transfer. And uh, some of uh, the specific uh, activities which we'll be doing or we have started doing is as uh, they were mentioned by the Honorable Minister. My visitor here today precedes also a forthcoming high level official visit of um, my Prime Minister, uh, Honorable Kasi Majariwa Majariwa, uh, which is uh, scheduled to take place in September, and the Prime Minister will be accompanied by business delegation to concretize the business deals, some of which were mentioned, but some of which are being explored between our two countries. And we believe that the visit will open new areas of business and investment for mutual benefit. But also during our meeting, I reaffirmed the readiness of my president, Her Excellency Dr. Samia Suhassan,
to receive his brother, uh, the President of uh, Indonesia, His Excellency Wadud, and we believe a lot will be discussed uh, during uh, that meeting to concretize our partnership and long-standing uh, friendship and cooperation, but also taking forward or learning from uh, Indonesia and in line with uh, our spirit, uh, the value addition and the beneficiation uh, policy, noting that uh, both countries are endowed with natural resources, but it is now time that we utilize these resources for the benefit of our peoples. Our two countries will also mark a sixth uh, anniversary, six, six zero, of diplomatic relations uh, next year. And uh, to celebrate this key milestone of our diplomatic ties, we have agreed that uh, her Excellency Minister, Min, Minister Malsud and myself to direct our teams to start working, putting in place a plan which will also indicate where we have come from, but more importantly, how do we want to move forward? This afternoon, I'll be officially inaugurating the Tanzanian Embassy here in Jakarta. And I'm delighted that uh, my sister has agreed uh, to accompany me. The embassy will further cement our cooperation and friendship. Finally, my sister, Honorable Minister, may I use this opportunity and my being here to invite uh, more Indonesian investors to visit Tanzania to explore opportunities and also enjoy numerous tourism attractions that we have in Tanzania. We'll also be visiting yours, but also please come and visit us. We have the Kilimanjaro, we have Serengeti, we have Ingorogoro, but also we have numerous attractions in the Zanzibar Island. On that note, thank you very much. Tell me, Kas Banyak. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih, teman-teman. Thank you, Minister.